Okay, so good afternoon guys. Um, what we'll be doing is we'll be adding an HP bar and uh, allow our character to actually move freely after hitting or having collision with our enemy and we'll be shooting our enemies or adding HP to our enemies. Okay, so first what we did is we created a bullet sprite and we have a bullet and here is how we actually do the firing. So we assigned in our control so we have space as jump and control as our key to be able to fire the bullets so what we will be doing is we need to determine the direction determining the direction so to be able to determine the direction of the bullet we need to add a variable named dir so dir is actually on the create of the character and DIR is a positive value or a positive one. So remember, in the X and Y axis, if we are going to the right way, we're going to the positive side. And if we're going to the left side, we'll go in the negative way. Okay? So, or negative value. So, if we press left or right key, then the assignment of the DIR values will be changing from negative one or positive one. But upon creation of the bullet, we need to check first, where am I facing? Am I facing left or am I facing right? So this determines by our code. Then we'll also check if we are pressing control. So that means if I press control and I, I know where my position is or left or right, then the, there will be a creation of bullet. So first we will set the H speed to zero and we will be creating an instance of the bullet. So, instance create bullet. Now, the position of the bullet will be determined by the OBJ character. So, you need to actually go for the trial and error wherein you will be faced, uh, wherein you need to put the exact position where the bullets will appear as soon as you press control because there should be a sprite that looks like the character is actually shooting so you need to go for trial and error for that with the specified position but now what i'm doing is that i'm setting the position of the obj car or the bullet in the obj car x position one and above the character okay so if we do press the play right now let's check first character obj character we need to center everything just to be sure if you play the actual uh, game, if I press control, so initially the, the value is of the DIR is positive one, so it will go the right way. So, and if we press in, okay, so this is default. Oh, there's something, there's a problem. Um, let's go back with our character. We just need to change this to underscore pressed okay so because keyboard check is you're currently pressing in without lifting your bot your 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 key or that your finger but if you press it will only do it once so let's try it again and supposedly this should work there we go. So if I press left, then the bolts will be firing on left. If I press right, then the bolts will be firing on right. So it goes both ways. You can see. Okay, so there we go. So the next step is that if the bullet hits the um the let's say the enemy. Um, the enemy should die immediately. So get the bullets and let's unavent a collision with the enemy. So what will happen here is that we are setting that if the enemy, if the bullet hits the enemy, then the bullet will disappear. So instance underscore destroy. Okay. And then let's set that on the enemy. On our enemy is if that is that if he or the the enemy actually hits 
or comes contact with the bullet, then the enemy will disappear. Uh, instance underscore destroy. So you need to actually determine where you are putting these codes because it will change your your game if you did not put it properly. Okay. So upon hitting the character or the enemy, the enemy will disappear. But we all know that in games we are not hitting the enemies only once we could actually hit it hit them five times before they actually die so to be able to do that we will be adding in an hp for our enemy and right now the enemy of the hp is five okay so so here's the here's the thing so if the enemy is having a uh, collision with the bullet then here's what we're gonna do we will not be we will not be destroying it immediately but we need to remove an any underscore hp minus equal one we'll be removing one value and we will go to the step to determine if the enemy hp is actually zero if enemy underscore hp is equal to zero then instance underscore destroy so the code this code actually removes values in the instance uh, a value of hp but in the step if the hp actually goes to zero then uh, it, uh, this, this story destroy okay there we go so if it is counted that the enemy is already zero, then it, they will die. So we need four hits because the HP is four. Okay. So there we go. One, two, three, four. Oh, five. They put in five. Oh, five. So five hits. So that's good. Still is good okay so the next thing is that if the enemy and the character has a collision we could actually add in an hp for the character so let's close this one and go to the character tab or the character object first we need to add an hp for the car so car hp is equal to three for example so remember we are getting a collision with the enemy so here's the thing in sonic in mega man if an enemy hits you and you still have hp you will not actually die unless you run out of hp so that's that's that's, that's a big difference so first thing that we will do when do we rem when will we be removing uh, HP from the character so because we, we already set the character HP on our create code Okay, or create event. So first thing that we need to do we will add an event and this is gonna be a collision with the enemy Okay, so here's what we will do first. We will ask if the car HP is already not equal to zero Okay so this means if the character HP is not equal to zero, then we remove one from the HP. Else, if the character HP is already zero, then we will do the game end. So the game ends immediately. So when do we remove do we remove the HP from the character? So first thing that we need to do is to understand that our character needs to change the sprite first because Mega Man actually blinks or it it's blinking or uh the opacity of sonic of sonic actually is lower down when he hits an enemy and the coins actually sp spur out of him so the first thing that we need to do is to add a sprite so what will the character actually look like upon hitting the enemy first so in our in our setup i will let the character blink first and there will be a three second interval for him to get out of danger and be able to go to a safe position 
just like in Sonic so you if you have coins you will not die because you will still will be able to actually get to a safe place as long as you have coins so the, act, the character will be, bl be blink blinking after the, the collision so to be able to do that uh, pencil SPR contact just to be sure we will be naming it as SPR contact okay. so the character is in collision with the enemy so the sprite will change so sprite underscore index um, is equals to SPR contact so we will be changing it to SPR contact so the character will blink upon collision but we will set a what we call status okay so the problem here right now is that if we become if we had a contact so let's say we, we add the car HP minus equal one so we will be removing HP from the character here's what will happen so the game will immediately end upon collision because the characters will still be moving because it has HP but every pixel that they actually get contact with is removing HP from the character so that's a problem so we have 4 HP and we need to delay it for 3 seconds so what do we do so we go back to our car to our character and we ser we set first a status so what is the current status am i in contact with the character or what am i safe so i'll be adding in enemy contact zero so immediately at first contact the value of enemy contact is actually zero so we will be adding in that if the enemy contact if enemy contact is equal to zero then we remove HP okay but we need to actually delay so I'll be putting in a code saying that the enemy contact will be changed into the value of 1 so that if it becomes in contact again even though the character HP is 0 it will not remove another one because as, we rem as I said the characters are continuously having collisions and every pixel is a collision so that would mean that immediately the HP will run out or the character will run out of the HP the game will end immediately so the, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be putting an alarm an alarm zero and in my alarm zero I'll be adding in um, I'll bring back the sprite to SPR car the original version and I'll, the enemy contact will be going back to zero okay I think I, I hope that makes sense if you have questions uh, just type in or comment below if you have questions okay so let's go back to the step or the enemy okay so upon changing the uh, enemy contact to zero then that would mean that my character is actually will not be losing HP but we need three seconds to be able to do that so we will be activating alarm zero after three seconds remember that 60 milliseconds is the value for alarm so 60 milliseconds is equal to one second so we need 60 times 3 then we have 180 I hope that makes sense Okay, so enemy contact is gonna be one, and we'll be bringing it back as after three seconds as we collide with the character. So let's try to check if this will work. Oh, sorry. Um, compilation error with OBJ enemy collision event with OBJ enemy. Okay, I'm sorry. There we go. We add in a square bra instead of a curly one. Okay, so one, two, and three it will go back to the same color. And again, we have three three lives, so still we could actually move around. And then after that, we're gone because we had only three lives. So this actually gives you a chance to move out of danger for three seconds to be able to get up, you know. Assert your, 
position, your, your movement, if you are in a safe place. So as long as you have HP, you could actually move around. But as soon as you, you, you are back to normal and you don't have any HP left, the game will end. So what we will do is going to be, we will be adding a group. And this is going to be HP bars. So this is another way to actually create HP bars on your game. So first, since we have three lives, I'll be adding in three HPs. So edit sprite, uh -huh. and then I'll be putting in that's 130, okay? And I'll be putting in a size for our yeah, HP. So this is gonna be one. So at least a third of the HP is covered, okay? Then we need to center so that the switching of the sprites will not be just, uh, you know, very uh, not aligned. So we need to align them by putting in the center, okay? And then we need to add another one. So same size again. We need, to, we need to center first. We need to put in first the sizes that we have. And we need to edit this one again. Same, but this time the values already will take about two-thirds of the HP size there we go so this is gonna be SPR HP2 center again and then click OK and last but not the least we have SPR HP3 so edit sprite create 100 by 30 and then uh, we add a rectangle and we'll fill it with the bucket there we go so this is the maximum hp that we have three hp bars okay so um just to be sure that uh you are following this remember we have three hp so we could actually use sir how uh, what if i wanted a 100 hp then what we'll do is we'll we will assert that if the hp is let's say 70 in between 100 then you will be showing SPR 3 if the HP is around 60 to uh, or 50 to 40 to uh, 69 then the the SPR HP SPR 3 or SPR HP 2 will be showing so it, it will really depend on you if you want to have more remember Collisions with, you could assign a number of values to, to be deducted from your character if you want the damage of your enemies to not be just one. Okay, so you could add damage values. Okay, so what we'll be doing is we'll be adding an object and the object is going to be OBJHP. So the first thing is that Upon the starting of the game, the HP is going to be 3, so we'll be adding it here. And where do we add the code that it will change? So, first we need to go to the character. And in every step, the character is asking what or how much HP do I have? So, changing HP sprites. First, we will need to ask if the car HP is equal to 4 or 3, then this is what will happen. So we will go with objhp dot sprite underscore index is equal to sp uh, spr hp three. Sorry. So we'll be copying this and just gonna be changing the values. And we'll go with two and one. Let's change the value, the numbers of the HPs. Okay. So remember that the step code is actually checking every change or every millisecond. So the checking the values. So if our character HP is in three, it's placing this, two, and one. Okay. So let's go and try and check. If we will be able to see that the HP is out. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry. We have not yet put in our room the OBJ HP. So, bye bye. So, let's put it here. Yes. Okay. 
let's go. Uh, I have an HP. There we go. We are losing HP right now. There we go. And then you're losing HP. Then the game ends because we only had three lives. Okay, so the next step is to add another object in which this one will actually give you HP. So it's SPR heart is what I'll be add or pots. Pots. Yeah, okay, there we go. So center um, and edits to sprite. We'll add a new one, same size. Edit this and then in our SPR editor, we're we'll putting in a circle with a text with HP. There we go. There we go. Okay. And then um, this HP bar will be added, or this HP will be added in an object. So OBJ HP, and then we'll be using the HP SPR pots as the, the sprite. And then, okay. So the first thing that we will be doing is that if the object HP collides with our character, okay, so remember the HP is going to be uh, having a collision with the character. So I'll be do what I'll be doing is that I'll be destroying the instance. So instance underscore destroy underscore. But if what we'll be doing is that I'm so sorry. Okay. Let's close this one. Um, let's go with the character. We'll add an event collision with a BHP. Okay, and this one we'll be adding in more HP. First is that remember that we have three HP, so the maximum is three. So if the character collects more than three HPs, we will not allow him or the character to have more than three. So we need to ask first. So if the character HP is less than three, okay, less than three, then that is the only time that we'll be adding in more HP to our characters. Okay. So car HP plus equal one. There we go. Okay. And let's just go back just to be sure that we destroy the instance. I'll go to the room and add this HP bars or HPs potions. Yes, there we go. There we go. Let's see. So reminder is that you could add more HP if you want. You could actually have five, ten, if you if you want. You could actually add lives, not just HP. So I have three HP. So I need to collect one to get more. There we go. Let's collect another one. There we go. So we are adding HP and we're losing HP and we are actually firing and we add HP to our enemy. So I hope this helps you guys to be able to create a more, um, yeah, um, to add more functions into your games. So uh, shooting and adding HP bars. If you want. So same thing with our lives and scores. You could actually set this to persistent and move it with the x view to be able to if your if your levels are actually uh, wider than this uh, this 600 by uh, i think 400 uh, uh game that i am creating right now so i hope this helps and uh comment below like share if you want to i'll be uploading this in facebook and youtube okay thank you guys